Uh, <laughs> basically, putting a f electric fireplace media mantle together today. So, got these this mantle fireplace for the apartment. I know that's upside down, but uh, there you go. Hey. So we'll show you how we do this. Um, this sucker was about 112 pounds. Um, I realized that as I was coming into the house with it, and I was like, oh, that's why my arms are hurting. But yeah, we're going to get into it, and I'll bring you along. All right, well, here we are. Um, I got the box unboxed, and I got pieces everywhere. Over here, over there, over there, over there. And then the majority of this was packing. Look how well packed this thing was. It's just a mound of packing. And there's still super packing in the box. Look at that. This thing was not going to break. So, but I'm going to start this. I'm not going to go through the instruction manual with everybody. I'm just going to speed show you how I do things. And um, yeah, we'll show you how this is the unit. So we'll show you when it's done. And uh, I'll just set you up and you can watch. All right, so <clears throat> as we get to um, putting this together, the huge difference is a lot of the parts are already pre-installed. So it's just really just using your screwdriver to uh, put the clamps on and uh, then just follow the instructions and uh, just make sure that, you know, uh, you don't get ahead of yourself and you follow all the instructions and, and don't beat on this thing because it is very fragile. So... Um, just use the right tools and don't over tighten. But, uh, yeah, enjoy watching me put this thing together in real speed. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Back at the fireplace, we got it assembled. Look at that. As you can tell, it's got doors for storage. Fancy. So when we get this where it's going, it is mandatory that we put straps on it so it doesn't fall over on anybody. It's very important. Um, you know, we are putting in the apartment, so you know the tenants will need to look at the warnings and bit bit bit. This area doesn't get hot, like flaming hot. This is really the heater itself here. So let's see what it does. And then you got all this space up top. It's it's really thin. It's not white at all. So I like it. And it went to get it went together better than I thought. So it's got a fancy remote. This will be lost in two days. So put out. Look at that. 
Oh yeah. And then you set the, let's see, you set the temperature, let's say to four. Um, and you got a temperature, so you got a thermostat on there, which is really cool. No, we don't want it to 100. Let's say we set it at 65 to save some electricity. But, yep, so your elements are in here. The heat's coming out. You got this fancy LED thing happening here with the USB cable back there. So, yeah, seems pretty cool. Fancy remote. And then if you lose your remote, which is bound to happen, you got your top controls here, which is cool. And then you could put, you know, a DVD player or something here. Um, they come with all these pre-holes. It's pretty cool uh, for your wires. And then got this whole flat area up here to do whatever you want. Uh, big, they talk about wanting two to three feet here, so don't put anything in front of it. So I'm glad the element's up here. And man, whew, it's getting hot. But there you go. Got this uh, at Lowe's for under 200 bucks. This is really cool. So, go, hope you guys enjoy the quick video. Um, we're just trying to keep cool here. It's about 18 degrees at night. Um, I like to keep it a little, I like to keep it around 60 up top. So, uh, this gives the apartment kind of a, you know, a threshold. You can tell that it has a thermostat in it because it's about 65 up here and boom it turned off so very cool um you can also set your leds um so if it's an extreme heat or if it's a low heat you can turn it off if you want but look at these logs they, they really look like they're real so that is so cool all right well till next time thanks for watching the video